That's right. Hello, everyone. It is time for sports where Montana State's win over Idaho last Saturday was homecoming on campus, but in more ways than one. We cut up with the former Helena Capital and Montana State standout who's now on the opposite sideline. Approaching the stadium, I kind of got chills. You know, I, I got back to thinking about how I'd approach a game as a player and, you know, I kind of want to bring that same mindset as a coach, you know. Uh, you talked about it earlier. It's all business, but at the same time, it's cool to be back. Um, and it's, it's going to be a fun day. Friends and family weren't alone welcoming Daly back to Bozeman. Mother Nature offered up the fresh snowfall Saturday morning, the first such occurrence on game day this season at MSU, and on Daly's first trip back in over half a decade. You better believe the irony wasn't lost on him. Right, right. We got off the plane yesterday, and it was 55, 60 degrees and sunny, and everybody thought I was crazy for thinking that it was going to be snowing. It's Montana weather, you know, you just blink, and it's uh, rain, snow, sleet, sunshine. You don't know what you're going to get. Winning in Bozeman is something Daly knows plenty about, and it was the focus of his message to the team, specifically the inside linebackers that he coaches, before Idaho took the field on Saturday. The environment, I've kind of clued them into what kind of environment it's going to be. Um, we have a, um, a great opportunity to come out here and play in front of an awesome environment. So hopefully that energy from a visitor crowd can get us pumped up too. Daly and the Vandals have struggled at times in their first trip back to the FCS and Big Sky Conference. Two and three overall, one and two in league play coming into Saturday's game at MSU. The challenge of the league is no surprise to its former all-conference middle linebacker. There's a lot of good teams in the Big Sky Conference, and you know our coaching staff knew it as well, too. So it's not um, like we thought we were going to come here and blow everybody out of the water. We knew we were going to have to compete week in, week out, and you know um, we're having to do that. Obviously, facing some adversity last week, but we're hoping to get back on the right foot today. That was not in the cards for Daly and the Vandals Saturday when that final horse sounded with a scoreboard reading 24-23 in favor of MSU. Earning a win was goal number one of this business trip, but there was still that consolation prize to fall back on. I see him family. Yeah, I'm a long ways from home, six hour drive at times, you know, so it's good to come back, see dad, see mom, see brother and friends as well. So excited to be home. How often do you see him otherwise? Uh, I get to see him a little bit in the summer, a little bit over Christmas, um, but that's usually about that. Uh, my parents make it out to a couple games um, throughout the season, but more than anything, it's good to be home and see people that I know and love. Mom and Dad, who was a former Bobcat gritter himself, were in the crowd on Saturday, proud of their son, as was Daly's brother Brad, the third member of MSU's football team in the family. And he, of course, just happened to win that Buck Buchanan Award given to the best defensive player in the entire nation. But with that much blue and gold in the family, what colors were the Daly family wearing? on Saturday. You know, I got them tickets. I hope they're wearing black and gold, man. I, hope, I know they got a lot more Bobcat gear than they do Vandal gear, but I've been uh, trying to get as much Vandal gear out to everybody as possible. 